I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this... ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. You can still leave, and I would take advantage of that while both your kneecaps are still attached correctly. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Here. It's everything I have. Okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall.
What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? So you're just gonna leave me alone here to deal with him? That's right. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Fine, then I won't stop you. Just go. Bruce, don't make this harder than it needs to be. We're both grown-ups. And in our line of work, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. Feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Here's my DNA before the incident. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already.
Should do it. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have... ...yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. There have been vipers at every turn recently. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce, there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah? Uh, if you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. <laughs> I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. 
Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Looks like a company logo. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted.
The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. doing in here sir is everything all right it's a kid Alfred the boy from the photo is he all right aside from the shock and a few bruises he seems okay he might be able to tell me more about what happened uh, possibly but if that's the road you go down please please do it with caution It's gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who, because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. <laughs>
Nice work, kid. <gasps> They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Just make sure he's taken care of and doesn't fall through the cracks. After what he's been through, he needs a good home. Yeah, I... I actually know the drill. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident.